it is a very normal and usual routine for us to to change the letters of our bird uh, every after two or three weeks at times guys this practice is very good and it ensures hygiene sanitation and also a part of biosecurity guys if you are new to farmer freak you're welcome this is our fifth batch of 1400 umbrella birds and you can see them picking so strong they are day uh, 36 going to 37 now and you can see the average body weight which we have achieved already 1.82 kilograms the biggest ones and uh, we aren't doing bad guys so this practice of changing litter every after two to three weeks again it depends on how your pen is okay the condition of your pen i recommend you doing this again and again because the wetter the litter becomes it poses a lot of problems okay it is the sources of outbreaks like disease respiratory uh, uh, issues like cough and diarrhea all other things because when the litter becomes wet now the birds tend to go and lie down on the wet litter the wet section the drive so closer to the wet section this bird is looking a bit weak to me now you can see i picked it up from a very wet section and that is why this practice is important okay now me just throwing up the, the, the dryer and the clean uh, litter on top, it helps the litter to become much more dry. Again, the birds are going to feel so much more comfortably uh, lying on dry litter. You can see we also have an upper section. I didn't bring this update to you, but guys, we have uh, an upstairs, we have a bandar, like you may call it in my local language. There you are seeing is a batch of 2,000 birds, but I don't recommend you mixing badges within the same pen, under the same roof, guys. This practice can be very risky, especially if you are just beginning, guys. You want to exercise a lot of caution if you are mixing older birds versus younger birds or two different badges of birds under the same uh, 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 roof okay it is very risky so i continue with my change of litter because the entire pen was already looking a type another thing is this litter management litter change it also keep the birds looking cleaner okay most of the times when my buyers come around they want to make sure that well apart from achieving the desired uh, body weight size and whatever but it should be looking your bed should be looking a bit cleaner guys if you don't change litter regularly like every after two weeks or it mustn't be every after two weeks okay it depends on how wet or dry your litter is okay and for those of us using the manual drinking systems which uh, needs to be refilled every now and then and the workers need to carry them and drop them down those are the causes where uh, water always spill out on the litters okay making it wet okay another thing is the blocks which you see us putting those drinkers on top uh, most of the times the birds themselves they fly around causing those drinkers to to, to 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 fall and the water of course is going to wet the litter guys but this practice help the bird to have drier litter to lie on okay like i said failure to do this you are going to be open or you are going to open the door for different complications like cough like diarrhea like uh, respiration uh, issues and things like that which might cause a lot of problems in your farm guys if you are new to farmer freak you're welcome this is john remember i remain your number one umbrella uh, teacher should you want to get started into a growing brella bird well i'm in central africa cameroon if you're in cameroon nigeria we are just neighbors guys you can leave me a comment should you want me to jump on something real quick 
you can also contact me as well guys look at how these guys are looking actually they are just coming out from the brooder i'm going to be taking you upstairs very soon so they are 2000 there and the one thing which i don't like is that we are sharing the same tent with them the same room with them with the older bed even though they are up but this one's down for airborne diseases it's not a very good practice believe me i know of the risk okay that is why i am telling you if you are not experienced enough to handle both badges under the same tent do not do it do not do it guys because it is very very risky so i am aware of the risk i know of what medications i should use to prevent whatever contamination and transmissions whatsoever guys i know of all that guys so you should exercise a lot of caution when doing this okay so you can see the pen is looking more cleaner drier and so our beds too once they get into marketing they are also going to be looking much more better guys so this batch actually is a batch of 1400 and normally uh, grow 1500 but this time around my supplier uh, gave me 1400 because there was a lot of uh, shortage guys which uh, is not a problem because we do every after 21 days we bring in new beds guys so actually uh our farm is surrounded by other farms like corn farm, maize farms and things like that. Uh, again, I want to talk to you about ventilation issue. Okay, guys, these birds need a lot of ventilation and do not joke on their spacing too, guys. Look at these young ones. I always find them attached to this wall, which is not a very good thing for me because I think that they are very prone and open to easy a disease transmissions which i keep on telling you guys it is not the best practice i am just doing it because i needed to taste how the upper section is going to look like versus the downer section for me i think the it work it works best for the younger birds uh, sorry for that it works best for the younger birds because up there they need some kind of heat also which the roof is uh, providing them some heat source too, guys, which is not uh, all that bad, guys, but I'm just concerned about the risk factor. Uh, you should be aware of that as well. So you see how happy and excited and comfortably they are looking on top of the new litter, the, 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 the newly freshed litter. Again, this litter, I didn't just go to the wood shaving machine and pick them up and then come and use just like that no this litter must have been kept five days or one week prior to using them okay in that way it gets much more drier remember especially if you are buying these uh, liters from uh, a wood uh, uh, machinery uh, you should be aware that there are some uh, woods which are not good for these birds okay uh, like me in Central Africa here in Cameroon we would say something like we do not use small leaf okay small leaf is a particular wood which it is going to be toxic to your bird uh, most of these birds they can also get cough from the litter when uh, the litter was mixed with some kind of uh, wood which are not accepted so you have to tell your go to the wood shaving uh, wood uh, machinery and tell them you are using this litter for poetry if there is any uh, wood which is not good for poetry they shouldn't uh, sell you this litter again it is cheap but uh, you need someone to to load them up for you in the bags and things like that so i continue doing what i'm doing and uh, the pen is looking much more clean the weather today is good and you can see we have some sort of a small slight sunlight uh, inside the pen which is also good for them uh, too much of it is not good guys of course too much of uh, direct sunlight is not good but a slight uh, little one of it is it's good okay so 
uh, today I'm just uh, I just choose to do this I have workers around here they are engaged on other things like some are upstairs uh, looking after the young ones I choose to do this uh, showing them examples teaching them to do this even why I am not around guys because these guys need to be trained guys so our guys are okay now they are happy and you can see what is going on I have just finished uh, with the litter management and you can see them happily eating and they are spreading their wings already guys so that is the importance of uh, litter management now i go upstairs guys these guys are 21 going to 22 days now you can see how awesome they are looking guys and we have up here 2,000 birds and uh, from time to time I need to expand them uh, you can see the you can see the plywood there uh, we need to expand a little because as they grow bigger they, they of course they need much more space right uh, when they become so much choked up uh, it is also not good for them guys so this is our very first badge on top and uh, we are just trying to test out things, how it is going to work out. But from my experience, uh, from what I'm observing, the smaller ones tend to do much more better on top. Now you can see my roof. One good thing, one happy stuff about my roof is that it is widely open, okay? Uh, the roof is widely open and uh, we had the chance to add this uh, uh, step up, okay? Which I'm going to be doing on the other section because I plan for this entire farm to hold at least 4,000 birds. Uh, again, Christmas, December is fast approaching. Of course, you know December is one season, one period where demand for Brella birds is really high. So farmers are starting to prepare for December, okay? So these are 2,000 birds and they aren't doing bad. Their brooding was excellent. Their heating was excellent until today we keep on keeping to those best uh, brooding practices providing them the best ventilation hygiene sanitation good and nutritious uh, meals and good water good uh, clean water for them and also someone around to always uh, look after them guys so it is not looking bad and uh, you can see we are just trying to extend to expand their their, their, their their room a little so that they can have much more breathing space guys so see what is going on here at farmer freak if you are just tuning on guys this is john and uh, we are happy here to bring you videos educational educative stuffs like these to help you start your own farm and uh, uh, be the boss of yourself and uh, just live happily with your family guys so we keep on growing farm a freak and i have good news for you guys i am looking into uh opening a new farm somewhere around just around this farm but not close guys uh, not close there is a, a good a considerable distance the the reason is we want to have Brela birds ready at all time guys at all times so i'm going to be bringing you that video where i'm going to be introducing our new farm to you it's not gonna be as big as this one this one for now it can it can accommodate three thousand five to four thousand birds but the new farm is going to be just a 1,000 capacity. Uh, there are reasons for that. I want to use it as a fattening unit where I will grow Brella beds for like uh, uh, 12 weeks or so because I have a lot of demand for, for that uh, uh, Brella body weight size. So I decided to set up that farm so that I can have two different units and this is going to help us enable us to to have birds to have ready birds at all time anytime a buyer knocks on our door we have birds to offer guys 
So we keep on growing Pharma Freak. It's been an exciting journey, not without failures, not without mistakes, not without losses, but the goal is consistency. And the goal of this business is, uh, it's a game of numbers, okay? If you want to scale it up, if you want to have uh, something so much more reasonable, then you have to do do with a good number, okay? It is very profitable, very lucrative, guys. You see how healthy these birds are looking? Uh, they are doing just awesome. Uh, 21 days going to 22, they are doing just awesome, guys. So extension still going on. It's a very lucrative business. You just want to have very good managerial practices are put in place. Don't forget, your farm is not a museum. It's not, uh, it's not a, a, a touristic center where you welcome outsiders anytime, any day, guys. Because these things are very fragile. You want to keep your farm clean, respect hygiene, sanitation, biosecurities, putting all these measures in place, and working hard on your marketing, selling your bet even before they are being farmed it means you having ready buyers who are ready and eagerly waiting for you to call them guys i have learned a lot when it comes to dealing with buyers because the rule of the game is if you grow good birds good healthy looking birds guys buyers are going to always come around okay so i i know that uh, the, the 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 market is saturated but come on they are always buyers they are always consumers and that makes poultry farming or brela farming a very very lucrative one which i really enjoy i did i don't regret resigning or quitting my job from bangkok thailand as a classroom teacher where i've taught like for eight to nine years guys i don't regret resigning my job to become my own boss come back home here with my family in central africa to start up my own business which i went for poultry farm so now we are expanding we are expanding our farm we'll go we are going to be having two farms now and i also see a possibility of having three farms four farms because in Cameroon, there is so much demand for these birds, and uh, this farm is located is in Limbe. We are in Limbe. This farm, Africa, is in Limbe, Cameroon. But we plan to have a farm in Douala because Douala is like the economic capital, guys. These guys eat a lot of brella birds, so uh, a lot of expansion extensions are coming on board on Farmer Freak. That is why you want to stick around this channel. You want to subscribe, turn all bell notification on, so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Uh, remember, I'm bringing you update again about our new farm. You don't want to miss that, so you want to turn all bell notification on, so that anytime i release that video you will be the first to be notified so you can see i'm seeing the older ones from top here see how they are looking extension has been completed so you see that they are now evenly spreaded and the ventilation is just awesome for them you can see them feeding and drinking very healthily which is awesome really awesome guys i love what i see what i'm seeing i love what we are doing here guys again we are not advising you to mix up these birds under the same roof it is risky we we choose to do this because we think we can handle whatever happens okay and uh, we don't joke with our biosecurities putting all these measures together you are just going to succeed as a farmer. See you around soonest. Peace out.